comic books weren't selling uh, that well, and there was this thing called Pencils Down. I taught for 12 years. I was still doing illustrations. I was doing more comic book stuff uh, at, like at this time. I was doing covers for um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog. I was doing illustrations for um, IDW's 30 Days of Night. Still doing newspaper stuff here and there, going to conventions. The one thing that is awesome about a teaching job is it's very cushy. It's very, it's soft. You know, it's like you got that paycheck coming in every week. It's not like a freelance gig. When COVID hit, uh, we were doing this kind of teaching from home stuff on the computer. And I just, I just wasn't into it. During this time in the comic book world, comic books weren't selling uh, that well. And there was this thing called Pencils Down, where basically all the companies just kind of said to all the artists, hey, stop everyone just put their pencils down and stop drawing basically there wasn't money coming in to pay these comic book artists um, i'm referring to like dc comics marvel comics idw some of those other kind of mid mid card uh, uh publishing companies all of them told the artists pencils down idw have instructed their writers and artists to put pencils down due to the current situation so uh yeah Pencils Down was a big thing. It had a lot to do with Diamond distributing as well. They weren't really uh, running efficiently. Uh, Marvel and DC weren't happy with them, um, but just sales just plummeted. Now, you know, there are, you know, speculation of why sales uh, plummeted. The main reason that people thing that pencils then happened was because by this time the wrong type of editorial and art directors got into position to be an art director or an editor you had to start off getting coffee making copies you know really starting at the bottom of working your way up whereby you know fast forward 20 years the people that were like the head of x-men um, were more like activists than actual uh, um, like editors. So they would, first of all, not know anything about the root material and therefore putting out stuff that was pretty alien to the person that's been reading it for, you know, 20 or 30 years. Sales plummeted. Uh, companies like IDW have been in, in the red for like three years coming. So everyone just said pencils down. Everyone just said, everyone just stopped drawing. Just everyone that's on a payroll or you, you, you have uh, a Marvel or DC board in front of you, just stop drawing. I was working on a, an idea with a buddy of mine called Johnny Phantasm. And I was just like, dude, uh, like now would be the best time for us to get our comic book out and deliver it right to people's door. Uh, so what we did was we crowdfunded it back in the day. Crowdfunding was kind of looked upon as a failure. You know, after you didn't do Marvel or DC, you went to image comics. Um, and then after image comics turned you away, you, you went to crowdfunding, you know, and that was kind of like at the time looked down upon, but, uh, now with YouTubing, uh, and, you know, live streaming and, uh, just like a community of independent artists, uh, online. Um, crowdfunding has actually turned into quite a success story. Um, it did really well. Um, it was like three issues of comics straight to your door. So during COVID, like that was like super rad. People really enjoyed that. Even though Pencils Down was happening, uh, myself, uh, Whitney, Riot Press, uh, we were getting books out to people. Um, and there were some other people that were also getting books out to people. We were quite busy. Like we were making comic books and fulfilling comic books, um, doing a lot of live streaming, um, making toys. Um, all that stuff happened like during COVID. And then that led to uh, more comic book making. Um, you know, after we did the first three issues of Johnny Phantasm, you know, we did uh, Johnny Phantasm Halloween 1985. So, you know, Pencils Down uh, happened because of COVID. Um, and uh, when Pencils 
came back up, it was like everything was like kind of like changed. Like, you know, everything was different. Um, there was a lot more people doing crowdfunding. The entire staff changed. It was like um, very low level people were in high, you know, high positions now. Uh, you know, people that basically cost too much, like had, had to go or be let go. Um, so, uh, you know, Marvel and DC, a lot of the, the big companies were kind of not recognizable, which left the market for us because, you know, with Johnny Phantasm, you know, Johnny Phantasm is a very old school comic book story. Ultra Star is a very traditional Superman story. Uh, Last of the Seekers is a fun robot, Robotech, Voltron type story. Um, and, I, and I think a lot of people like uh, resonate with these stories more than what I think Marvel and DC and some of the other bigger companies are putting out. Things have been going well. Uh, things have actually been going too well. Um, it, now we're at the point where it's like, <laughs> we have too much we have too much stuff to fulfill and and too much stuff to get the people now there's been a, a, a bit of a boom uh and we're trying to recover from the boom